it is important for us to understand the concept of strong assets and bases because the strength will determine the properties of the products that are formed in their reactions. So we know that a base, for example, sodium hydroxide, when it is solid, it is placed in water. And we know as it's placed in water, because it is a base, bases dissociate in water to form a solution, an aqueous solution of sodium ions and hydroxide ions, both dissolved in water. Now, by definition, a strong base is one that dissociates completely. Basically saying that if we start with a 1.2 molar solution, meaning moles per cubic decimeter, solution of sodium hydroxide, all of that will dissociate, which would mean that we would end up with a 1.2 mole per cubic decimeter solution of hydroxide. So we say a strong base is one that dissociates completely in water. In the same way, strong acids also dissociate completely. So we would say when we place gaseous hydrochloric acid in water, we know that acids ionize in water, and that basically means that they first dissociate and then react with the water to form an aqueous solution of hydronium ions and chlorine ions, also aqueous. So when we say that it is a strong acid, what we are saying is that all of the acid dissociates and then ionizes to become hydronium. So once again, the entire concentration of the acid that you start with becomes the concentration of hydronium. These are the common strong bases, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and lithium hydroxide. The common strong acids are hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, and sulfuric. Most other acids and bases are considered either weak or medium, and it is typically these that are considered the strong acids and bases. It is important to realize here that the strength of an acid is completely independent of the concentration of that acid or base. So it is possible to have a very low concentration of a strong acid or a strong base. All that that would mean is that it is still completely ionized or dissociated in water. Whereas when we say that we have a high concentration, we are just saying there is a large number of moles per cubic decimeter of that substance present.